Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode here on my channel. Joseph Romero here once again. Welcome to my humble abode. I welcome you with open arms. Now, today, we're going to talk about three reasons why you need gratitude. You know, talk about gratitude again? Yeah, I'm going to talk about gratitude again. I'm harping on this topic because it is very, very important. And I realized in the last couple of videos that I've been sharing with you all that I've been talking a lot about gratitude, right? But I haven't really been giving you reasons why it's so important. I've been giving you some general stuff, but I'm gonna give you three specific reasons why it's so important. And number one is that it gives you perspective. What do you mean by that? You're probably asking yourself. Where you're at, if you look around you, take a second, smell the roses, as the saying goes, and smell the coffee as well. Sips tea, right? And you will get to see everything around you. And you'll, if you take the time, just take it in. You'll see how far you've come. And you won't just focus on all the things that you lack and all the things that are still yet to get. You'll focus on everything that you've gotten to this point. Some of you, it could be a lot. And for some of you, it may not be as much. But it'll give you some perspective and you can recalibrate. And you can see, hey, you know, I don't have a lot yet but I'm gonna get it. And that's the most important thing, right? But it keeps you in the moment, keeps you grounded, right? So that's number one. Number two, the number two reason why you need gratitude is because it fights off something called hedonic adaptation. That's a big word, that's SAT word. Yeah, it is a pretty big word, right? Yeah. But it's a pretty simple phrase, right? It's a pretty simple idea behind it. So hedonic adaptation is this idea that, or this theory that people will adapt to the happiness level that they're at, right? So say you know you have a goal of getting a new Ferrari, right? Once you get it, eventually you will adapt. Your happiness level will adapt to that level. And then the next thing will be, oh, now I need to get a Rolls Royce. You know, now I need to move up, right? And you will keep adapting to that level, right? I heard a great saying, I think it was on a podcast, about a billionaire who was depressed. Billionaire, depressed, why? because he didn't have tens of billions of dollars. That's a real life example of hedonic adaptation. That's an extreme example, but it showcases what can happen when you forget about that gratitude aspect of your life, right? This thing is so important. I want you guys to grasp it. It's very important. I'm sharing this with you because I need more of it, right? If I'm sharing with you and I'm teaching it, it's because I want more of it myself. If I can teach it, I can learn it better myself, right? It's helping, we're helping each other. Let's grow together. That's the second reason, right? Fight off hedonic adaptation. Number three, the number three reason why you need gratitude. It keeps you grounded in the moment. Now, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into this one. So, Joseph, what do you mean by grounded in the moment? Like, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Exactly what it sounds. You're in the floor. No, I'm just kidding. What it means is that, say, for example, let me give you, a, let me give you an easy example, right? Have you ever given something to someone and after a couple of days, they're asking for more and they, they weren't satisfied with what you gave them. They said, hey, you know, can you give me some more? You know, I already used it up. Or they don't even say thank you or they're not very appreciative of it. Grateful, keyword, grateful. They're not grateful for it. Would you wanna give them more money if they're just still nagging at you and not appreciating the fact that you helped them in the first place? Probably not, right? That's the way the world works. That's the way the universe works. Imagine you're constantly crying, you know what I mean? Crying about how the world owes you this, the world owes you that, you don't have enough of this, you don't have enough of that, and you don't take time to appreciate the moment and the things that you do have. Should the universe, should the world, should whatever you believe in God, the spirits, gods, I'm not here to talk about religion, but whatever you believe in, should that give you more? Do you deserve it? Are you grateful for the things that you do have in order to get more of it? If you have that attitude that you're entitled to it or that you have to get more of it just because and you didn't work for it, you're not even grateful for the fact that you have something already? No, you don't deserve it. And that's why you won't get it. But if you shift that mindset to gratitude, you will start to unlock what is called the abundance mindset. And for those of you who are readers like myself, who read a lot of success mindset type books, that abundance mindset is key to getting more and more and more of whatever it is that you want. 
And in turn, it's, it's a dichotomy in that until you're grateful for what you have, you can't get more of what you want. It's weird that way, but that's the way the universe works. But if you focus in on that gratitude, you can definitely get more of what you want. To close this out, I want to reiterate and tie everything back together. So number one is that it gives you perspective. That's the number one reason why you need gratitude. These are in no particular order, but number one is it gives you perspective. Number two is it fights off hedonic adaptation. Number three, it keeps you grounded and it helps you unlock the abundance mindset. You enjoyed this episode? Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on my notifications. Let me know what you think. I'm grateful for you all. I'm becoming more grateful with every video that I post and I appreciate you. Going back to the last episode, I told you to share hashtag so grateful. I want you to do the same here. We're definitely gonna make this a movement. We're gonna make gratitude and gratefulness cool. That's one of my chief missions with this channel is to make gratitude cool, make gratefulness cool. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big for all of us. It's gonna help all of us. We're gonna work through this together. It's gonna be a fun ride.